Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our video studio today to tell you about a super cool set of binoculars. This is the Sig Sauer Zulu 6 image stabilizing binoculars. These things are awesome. And there are two versions uh, in the box here. I have the 16 by 42, and the ones I'm gonna take out and show you are the 20 by 42. 16 power, 20 power by 42, that's the objective lens there. They both weigh 22 ounces, and all the features are the same in both of them. Just wanted to tell you that there are 16 power versus 20 power. So in the box, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get uh, this neck strap for the binoculars. It's gonna come in this case. Take them out. So there they are, Sig Sauer Zulu 6. These things are so cool. Um, as I mentioned, 22 ounces they weigh, and we'll talk about the binoculars first. You know, you're gonna have coated lenses here that are going to resist against scratching and against uh, glare. You know, uh, it's gonna reduce glare as you're looking through them. These binoculars, they are, they do have a waterproof, fogproof rating of what's called IPX7. What does that mean? So IPX7 means that you can submerge these in up to three feet of water for 30 minutes and no water is going to get inside of them. Just for comparison's sake, you know, the IPX4, that's like uh, if you have a set of earbuds that you can splash water on them and they won't, uh, they'll be okay with that. But these put them sink them in the water for up to 30 minutes, three feet deep, and they're gonna be fine. So, great waterproofing. So obviously, we're not dropping these in the water. What that means is if you're using these in the rain, they're gonna be fine. Um, so, um, we do have, you know, this, these are image stabilizing binoculars. So right here, you're gonna have a little compartment that has your battery. Obviously, these are electronic binoculars. And what it takes is one standard, this is just an alkaline AA battery. Nothing fancy there. Standard AA battery. Put those in. And now you can see these things fold very flat like that. What you're going to do is pivot these to get them uh, in the position, you know, to get the distance between your eyes. That's going to be what you're going to move. You're going to have your eye cups here. You know, if you have glasses like me, you're going to probably use them flat like this. But if you don't have glasses, you do have multi-position eye cups. Looks like three positions I have there where they sort of lock into place. Uh, that you can twist out to get the eye relief exactly how you want it. On the right side, my right side, you are gonna have a diopter here. This is how you're going to make sure that the image is clear in both of your eyes. You're gonna have your focal wheel here that you're gonna use to dial it in, make sure the image is crisp, and then you're gonna use the diopter to really dial it in so both eyes are seeing the same thing. But of course, what is cool about these is that image stabilization. And you can see I've got a button right here. And what it shows is on and off. Currently, these are off. So when I look through you know, any of my hand movements, I'm gonna see all that. Now, I want you to watch this light bracket right here. When I turn it on, it's going to turn green. And so what that's doing right now when it's green, it's in what it calls the scan mode. So the image is stabilized and what happens is it, it takes out all of your movement and just locks it. It makes it look like you're on a tripod. So in the scan mode, what you can do is you can move you know, side to side. You're out glassing a mountain or something and you know, you're moving across the mountain. When it's green in the scan mode, the image stabilization moves with you. Now, what I'm gonna do 
if you watch this, I'm going to turn it off and back on again real fast. And this is going to turn an amber color. It's the time they say is you turn it off and on within two seconds. So I just turn it off, back on, and now you can see that light change color to amber. What that is, is the target mode. So that adds like 50% more stabilization than the scan mode. So when you're looking at that mountain, okay, now you found your sheep or whatever you're glassing. Put it on that target mode, now it's gonna freeze more solidly when you are holding it into place. Um, the stabilization is good in scan mode, but it's ridiculous in target mode where you can just sit there and it's gonna freeze the image and nothing's gonna happen. What you'll notice is if you scan with it in target mode is that there's gonna be a lag in how the image stabilization moves. So that's what that's for in the hunting world. Now let's talk about target. If you're using this in target archery, put it in that target mode so that you can lock on. If you're doing a 18 meter indoor shoot, you can really lock in on your target and see exactly where your arrows are. 3D shooting, you know, if you're looking out 50 yards or so, you can see exactly where that arrow is. Of course, we're talking about high power. That's why we need this. High magnification, 16 power, 20 power. It would be ridiculous for you to try and scan a 3D target at 50 yards with 20 power without image stabilization. You'd be seeing lots of movement all over, but with the image stabilization, you can take advantage of that higher magnification and not have to worry about moving around like this. Um, so yeah, hunting world, obviously, we can understand the applications of this, but in target shooting, 3D shooting, uh, any of that, these will allow you to use a higher magnification. Outdoor target archery, 50 meter compound, 70 meter uh, with uh, recurve. You know, we see everybody using spotting scopes. Well, with a set of these, you wouldn't necessarily need the spotting scope on the tripod because you can just use these instead. And let's talk about that for a second. Uh, in the hunting world, who's gonna use these? Is it your Eastern tree stand whitetail hunter? Probably not, you don't need 16 or 20 magnification. Go out west, absolutely. Anything, any of that western hunting where you're scanning long distances, these are gonna make it much easier to do that, easier on your eyes. You're not gonna get the headache from your binoculars, you know, from the movement that you're looking in the field of view. Uh, so it just makes it a lot nicer for viewing, especially long distances. Now, one of the really cool things about the Sig Sauer Zulu 6 is these have an unconditional lifetime warranty. That's what Sig says. Hey, you know what unconditional means just as well as I do. I'm not even gonna try and uh, give you examples of what that might mean, but that's what they say. Unconditional lifetime warranty that they will repair or replace these binoculars. So just a great added feature, you know, these are not inexpensive binoculars, but you know that once you buy them, you do have that unconditional lifetime guarantee. Um, so you'll be ready for any issues as they come up. All right, so that is the Sig Sauer Zulu 6 image stabilizing binoculars in both 16 power and 20 power. Unbelievable uh, advancements in technology from the folks at Sig Sauer. These things are incredible. If you wanna see the two versions as we have them on our website, be sure to click the link in the description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArtry.com.